If you look down in South Arkansas, where we drill for oil and natural gas, and we are now moving at breakneck speed to become the lithium capital of America. Two major energy companies are about to step on the accelerator towards a new future. And the fuel under the hood is going to come from right here in Arkansas. We first told you about the potential of a lithium gold rush in our state two years ago. As THV 11's Rolly Hoyt shows us, cities in South Arkansas could soon return to their boomtown days. And now in the point where that energy transition is very real uh, and is happening across the globe. Across the globe includes Southern Arkansas. The region is full of potential energy and it's sitting under the soil. We're hoping to be producing lithium commercially in Southern Arkansas in early 2026. Andy Robinson is the chief operating officer of Standard Lithium. That's the Canadian company we first introduced you to a couple of years ago. They've staked the earliest claim in Arkansas to extract the chemical needed to power all the rechargeable batteries that could one day break our dependence on oil and gas. Since 2020, they've used an extraction process that taps into the vast amounts of salty liquid found two miles underground called brine. They then run it through this small-scale test facility in El Dorado. Huge amounts of this lithium-rich brine are waiting to be tapped from what's called the smackover formation. We've learnt how to take the brines from the smackover, process them to get the lithium out directly from them, put that brine back in the ground again once the lithium has been extracted. Um, and we've learnt what we need to learn to now move to the commercial steps. Here's why scaling up that demonstration project is so important. If it doesn't work, the chances of getting all that lithium out from down there practically disappear. You see, the way foreign countries usually get the lithium is by building giant evaporation ponds, usually in the middle of deserts. This is the site that Standard Lithium plans to build their processing plant. It's 118 acres, mostly timberland. It's close to a rail link and Highway 29. But if it were an evaporation pond, it would be 120 times larger, about 30,000 acres. Nowhere in the smackover formation is there that kind of space or the appetite for that much environmental destruction. It appears that drilling brine this way is the only way to unlock the lithium. Really genuinely, really proud that we are taking this very modern approach and having such a light footprint on the planet. The implications of going from a test program to commercial production could be game-changing. The smackover is a vast crescent of land spanning from Texas to the Florida Panhandle. Southwest Arkansas promises to be the hub thanks to its history as an oil and gas producer. Old wells and derricks dot the landscape, and drilling for brine and lithium is easy here. That ease promises to make this energy boom much different. We're really aiming to be a leading supplier of lithium by 2030. If you're looking for signs that extracting it from brine is going to work, look no further than two weeks ago. That's when oil giant ExxonMobil bellied up to the lithium bar with an announcement alongside Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. This is something that has the ability to have ter tremendous long-term economic, economic impact. Patrick Howarth with ExxonMobil outlined the oil giant's goals that day at the state capitol. He reiterated their plans while speaking with us a couple of days later from Exxon's headquarters. So it's probably a little bit too early to say to exactly uh, how, how big it could be, uh, but we feel that we can uh, contribute to providing lithium for at least a million EVs by 2030. Standard Lithium has similar goals, perhaps a year or two sooner thanks to their head start. When it comes to a booming, thriving lithium industry in Arkansas, both Robinson and Howarth say there's still a long way to go. But to them and their investors, that potential energy is there. The world and North America really needs lithium urgently. Uh, and we think that these critical resources that we, we're hoping to develop uh, in Southwest Arkansas near Magnolia uh, can play a part of that story. And there will be ups and downs over the years, but we think this is a, this is a long-term long-term energy transition and Southern Arkansas is you know, definitely going to be a central hub for, for this story. In El Dorado, Roly Hoyt, THV 11 News. Okay, an important next step arrives early next month. Standard Lithium will present their commercial plans to state officials for approval. And those state officials will determine the royalties the company will pay to landowners and right holders for letting them drill for the chemicals. We'll keep you updated as this develops.